Hi, in this video, we are going to look at the nomenclature of the following compound. Now, the question says, what nomenclature is the geometry of the following compound? You have cis, trans, E, and Z. Now, of course, we know that we can't not use the cis, we can't use the cis and trans isomer, we can't use the cis and trans, in this con in this situation reason being that cis and trans isomers are used in naming compounds that have hydrogen on the sp2 carbons now this is an sp2 carbon and this is another word sp2 carbon so when you have two hydrogens on each of them, let's say you have hydrogen on this sp2 carbon and another hydrogen on this sp2 carbon then we can use cis and trans but in the situation where you have the hydrogen on only one of the sp2 and the other does not have we cannot use what cis and trans to designate that or to name that particular compound hence this compound cannot be named with the cis and the trans isomer they cannot be named with the cis so cis and trans are out of the way now the next one is you have the e and z if i want to redraw this compound again if i want to redraw it again i'll draw it like this we have c double bond c then we have what ch2 ch2 and what ch3 now in this compound you see that carbon is what directly bonded then we have what hydrogen and then another carbon bonded here so we have ch3 and what ch3 now here you have what hydrogen and here you have ch3 why naming e and z compounds we use the can in good prelog principle now the principle says that you assign priorities to the groups or to the atoms directly attached to each of the sp2 carbons so this is an sp2 carbon and this is an sp2 carbon is sp2 reason because it has two pi bond three pi uh, sigma bond and one pi bond it has three sigma bond and one pi bond. we are at the sigma bond this is a sigma bond this is another sigma bond here in a double bond there is one pi bond and what another sigma bond so in total around this carbon atom you have three sigma bond and one pi bond so this is the sp2 carbon now let's analyze the priority now the priority are in such a way that the highest priority group they are in such a way that the highest priority group is usually assigned A, while the lowest priority group is assigned B. How do we assign, how do we identify a group that is higher in priority and the one that is lower in priority is the atomic number? Now, if I want to redraw this compound again, you agree with me that this compound will be what? It will be H3C. This compound will be what? H3C. So this becomes what? H3C, saying that carbon is what directly bonded to this carbon now hydrogen is directly bonded to the carbon sp2 carbon here carbon is directly bonded to the sp2 carbon so let's identify these two atoms now between hydrogen and carbon which one has the highest priority of course it is what carbon carbon has the highest priority that means because it has the highest atomic number that's the highest atomic number so here will be a why here will be what b why because this one has the lower priority now considering this one i told you that whenever you have a branch at a particular atom at the same position the one with branch usually have the higher priority the one with branch usually have the higher priority so in this case if you want to even analyze it you have carbon you're directly bonded you have carbon you're directly bonded you have another carbon you're directly bonded are we getting it now this carbon that is directly bonded and this one that is directly bonded they are the same hence this carbon cannot be used to what to identify the one with the highest priority then the next atom you have is what hydrogen here because here there are two hydrogen which is h what h now if you come here the compound the atoms that you have are what carbon are what hydrogen here's the carbon and hydrogen there's one carbon under here and there's this hydrogen directly attached to this carbon are you getting it now so if you want to use this hydrogen now to compare with this carbon you agree with me that this particular group here have a higher priority because the carbon have what a higher atomic mass than what compared with hydrogen hence this one is a and this one is what b now if this group may confuse you let me bring it out again you have it as ch2 ch2 and ch3 why this other group 
this other group we have them as what ch this is ch then you have what in bracket i told you that wherever you see a substituent you put it in bracket ch3 that means the substituent is in bracket ch3 then you have what ch3 if i want to break this down it will be what ch then i have what c h h and h here will be what c h h and what h then considering this other one here considering the other one there the other one will be what the one on top will be c h h then c h h again and then c h h and h now if you want to cancel you have carbon here right you have carbon here so that one cannot be used to identify here you have hydrogen here you have what hydrogen then considering this one now here is hydrogen why here is what carbon hence this one under has the highest priority because the next atom to consider is carbon here and here is what hydrogen so the ones on top they have the lower priority hence we name this one b and then name this one what a of course we know here is b and here is what a so we said that when the two highest priority group are on the same side what do you call it you call it the z configuration or susame why if they are on different side you call it what the n genje or e configuration so the correct answer is what option one z d which is z configuration e is not the correct answer to this question thank you